that was good. Welcome, we are at my cottage. Of course, you know, when we get here, either in the winter, our heat breaks, so we have no heat, or in the summer, our air conditioning breaks. So it's really hot. That means my paints could get very thin. Cross your fingers. I'm really excited for what we're doing today. Wait, isn't thin good? Thin is not always good. It has to be like perfect, you know? Right, but thick isn't good. Too and thick isn't good. Like you want a bit thick for my blooms. And you want like 50-50. You want 50-50. And right now it ain't, it's not 50-50, is it? What's that? It's like 70-30. But I want to show you what I'm doing. I am in a Dragonfly collab with the best artist ever. Because we have Shelly, Mitchell, Nikki. We're doing dragonflies. And I had to really bring my A-game because of those professionals. So, you know, I had my man Jan again. He made me these um, dragonflies. I'm going to put his info in my description if you want your own cutouts. This one, I think, is about two feet across. And these are 10 inches across. And they're taped on the back and ready to use. What am I doing? Well, I have a three-foot square that I'm doing something on. What am I doing on it? I'm actually not going to bloom on it today, but I'm gonna make a really cool background. Hopefully, I have an idea. Now, let's talk about pillow paint. Oh, pillow paint. Pillow paint, you guys. You've never seen me use this. This is my Glidden Essentials, but this is tinted black. Spoil warning, not spoiler. Do not buy this for your blooms, please. Glidden blacks are yucky oily and thin okay but i'm buying this on purpose because i want something thin because i am tilting my three footer now also what i think will happen is i am going to do an ombre half background with pigments and because that pill paint's kind of thin and yucky and oily i'm hoping actually for some fractals Okay, to make a really cool, maybe like um, uh, crystal background. Let's talk about colors of my ombre. So. So who's Nikki? Nikki. Oh, you've never heard me talk about Nikki. Nikki D is an amazing artist. She does amazing. Um, no, I see. I, I hope you talk about Nikki, but I. I don't she does amazing. Um, not mod. Well, she does modifications and also. Ugh, you know, drawing doodles, really cool stuff. Hold on, I can't, uh, thank you. Sequins, one second, I'll tell you more about Nikki. Sequins, enchantment, pinwheel, which is a um, kind of like a purpley to blue shift interference, constellation, uh, twinkle. And the reason I'm putting the twinkle here is because it's a violet to blue. And then mermaid, okay? So I'm gonna somehow schmooze them. And my idea is to have like on a diagonal, right? Like black and then like the diagonal thing and then the dragonflies on top somehow, I don't know. Let's talk about my dragonfly colors. These shapes, and I always do these weird shapes, they're very hard to bloom on because you can't really spin them because they're weird and then you kind of can get wonky cells, but that's okay. Um, your opinion, you have an opinion? Yes. So let's this, 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 this can't really totally have wings. It does have wings, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Hold on, Tio, for one sec. Mm -hmm. Let me just say. So for my colors, I'm again gonna use Enchantment and Mermaid. And this is Glisten. I thought I'd put like a little blue-green interference. Mm -hmm. yeah. And TLP or a gold, of course. Now for my two Bs, I have carbon black. I have phthalo turquoise and I made this color because I didn't bring any purples here for some reason. This is actually Australian red violet mixed with Payne's gray to make this kind of, I wanted like jewel tones. So I don't know what I'm doing yet with them, but luckily I'm gonna do the big one first and kind of see what happens. I hope that's not a disaster, but you know, it could be. And uh, I think that's it. So let's go to the big canvas on the floor. Am I missing anything? No, sure not. The big collab, it's happening. Okay, so here I am on the floor. I poured about half of the can and I stretched it out and I just put a little bit more of a pillow base for my uh, pigments to sit on. 
I don't really know what it's gonna look like, or, but as long as I have the sparkly colors down, I think it will be okay. So just watch as I um, pour that, and then I'm just gonna take up my little palette knife, and I just kind of schmooge the edges a little bit because I don't want those lines. Um, so I make it look a little flowy, and then I'm gonna stretch it out and get my good workout in. So enjoy as I do that. I really enjoy the final look. I think it kind of looks like a dragonfly wing. Um, obviously, sparkle's amazing. This is a close-up, still wet, by the way, and then you'll see a close-up resin when I'm done. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hello, amazing colors. Okay, so I made that background. I really like how the background looks almost like a dragonfly wing flapping. So I'm gonna keep it a dark background and I think I'm gonna do gold bodies somehow. And then maybe on top I'll do purpley pinky wings and on the bottom do bluey greeny wings. I don't know, right? So I'm using the proper, my proper black pillow for this because I don't want it to get yucky. Hopefully I have enough actually, we'll see. Um, uh, this is trichrome black color to go. And I don't need that much. Cause, so by the way, I'm swiping and these shapes, I always do it. I don't want to waste, hmm, I should even brush it on. Um, these shapes are so awkward to paint and spin. Uh, if you saw my collab last week with the Agapanthus, I always say I'm not going to do shapes, but you know, or what, what I'm going to do, get Janigan to do is to get a smaller cutter. So he's going to cut it for me more like a puzzle. So when I, I could do whatever I want and have it in a big circle and then just take it out. You know what I mean? But he didn't have a small cutter this time. So this is what I'm end, ending up doing. Now I want to make sure. Oh, also what I learned, which I didn't do this time, um, it's easier to paint the sides before you start, which I did not do. But maybe I can just wipe my fingers around it. Right? So many things with these shapes. And I said to myself, I'm not doing shapes anymore because they're so finicky, you know? But here I am doing a shape. I suffer for the art, you know what I mean? Because I know these are going to look pretty. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure I have enough to stretch out and spin a little bit for the sway. Okay, I think that's good. So, am I just doing gold in the middle? You know what I mean? While we're thinking about it, why don't I just go like this, right? That would be easy. So if I just go gold in the middle, hmm, all right. Do I wanna, you know what I do have actually? Maybe I'll do, and this is crazy, maybe I'll do gold, cause I want my cell activator somewhat to stand up and not sink, even though it's going to. But what if I, is this crazy if I do gold and then bl my black pouring medium and swipe it with white? That nuts. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know if I'm nuts, but whatever. Let's just do it. So, and these are so small, it's gonna be funny. I'm gonna put a lot. What I realize is with shapes, though, you do need a lot of paint because you want it to flow and cover and not get stuck anywhere. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, this is my ore, 
and we're going to make sure that she's covered. Okay. Now, what I think I will do is on the back of my real palette knife, I'm going to put my white cell activator and a bit of my black pouring medium. So it kind of holds up the cells a little bit. So I'm spreading the white and I'm going to drizzle. I have to open up my black. I'm going to drizzle my black just a bit. I don't want it super black, but I don't know. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm not even seeing any gold. It's kind of a cool look, not what I was going for, but I don't mind so far what's happening, maybe. Okay. Now, why don't I do uh, the top, I'll do purples, and then the bottom's blues, right? So if I'm doing purples, we need some enchantment. Okay, I'm gonna put a bunch, right? Just cover her up here. Okay. Now remember, these cells are gonna melt and do their thing, and that's just okay because Science, you know, I, I I don't mind this, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have enchantment. Uh, why don't I do sequins? You know, okay. And should I leave it at that? Maybe I'll just leave it at that. Is that crazy? No. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to put my white cell activator and I'm going to top it with that custom purple that I made <clears throat> with Australian red violet and Payne's gray because I forgot to bring a purple. So here's my white. I'm going to drizzle that Payne's violet. That's what I'm calling it. Okay. Oh, what do you think? Um... Hmm. Mm -hmm. I might do another little swipe. Too violety for me. Didn't really get that enchantment that I wanted. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Let us do. Now I'm gonna put less violet. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are crazy. I don't know why it's already July. Okay, so I'm just gonna like a little. <clears throat> this one I did a thinner drizzle. Okay. Let's see what we got here, right? All right, that's a little better. I like the movement. I like what's happening. I'm not fashe about it. That means mad, by the way. Okay, let's do our bottom blues. It's kind of a cool, I just wish it would, I'm just depressed because I know it's not gonna dry like as cool as it looks right now. It's not gonna be bad, but you know. All right, so for the blues, we're gonna go very simply, mermaid. Mermaid. Oh my god, Ellie's just like screaming, making fake horn noises apparently. Never heard that one before. Okay. And, uh huh. 
Good. All right, so we have that. And then why don't I go in with our shimmer. Is this the shimmer? No, that looks like Twinkle. Oh, I forgot to use the Twinkle, so pretty. Maybe I'll use it on the bigger one. I think my shimmer is over here. And the shimmer, yeah, is like that blue-green. Right now. Oh my dog escaped. <laughs> That's why he's here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Um, okay, so for that, I'm going to do the same thing with my white cell activator and my phthalo turquoise. And I'm going to go light with that as well. Okay. Just light. Okay. Well, here I go. Why don't I try swiping outwards this way? Right? I don't know. Okay. Same thing. This is time consuming, but I'm going to say it's worth it, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> okay, a little drizzle. Okay. And then I'm going to spin it. And then... All right. There we go. Okay. Here she is in all her glory. Mm, this little part here. I'll just go like this. Okay. Let's spin her and see. Do I want more? It's kind of cool. Let's see. Now for the big one, by the way, I'm going to have to move somewhere else because it's two feet and won't fit in this little box here. But okay, I'm going to spin vigorously. I'm just going to coat the sides that are not coated because I really don't want it to warp too much. I like this gold and black and white. Okay, ready? I'm really spinning like a mad woman. You know, it's kind of cool, except there's one boob leg. Hold on. For a weird shape, small piece. Um, right? Let's see. I know I'm getting it, whatever, but I'm just trying to cover that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not celtastic or whatever, but it's not supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be a dragonfly. So, there. I think she's spun off nicely. And I think, yeah, the sparkle is really cool. I'll show you properly in the light. Uh, I like her. Okay, so let me do the other small one. I'll, make, I'll fast forward that one. And then we'll do the big one and see what happens. All right. I will be right back. Here's the second dragonfly. I decided to kind of speed it up because it was the exact same thing. Didn't want to bore you guys. Um, colors are a bit washed out, but that's the ore. And then I swipe it. I'm really liking the way this lacing is looking. And of course, Elliot had to come in and bother me. And I thought I'd just give you a little insight about that. When you were doing crazy things and then what was it doing? You were making like weird trumpet noises, which was a new one for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize can a guy make trumpet noises peacefully? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I can affect How's your art doing, babe? How's all my fans? Oh yeah, you're muting this one. Yeah, muting this Maybe one. Maybe if I'm funny it up, you don't have to you don't have to mute it. Uh, are you gonna funny it up? I think I did already. Okay, do you want I to think I made everyone smile a little bit? Do you wanna see my dragonfly? I want to see you. Is that like? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, babe. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. You want to see my dragonfly? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I have to re-swipe that. <laughs> okay. I don't think 
you should mute it anymore. <laughs> I think people just smiled. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to get them through their days. You think so, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You can find me on Only OnlyFans for okay. my <laughs> Dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, gorgeous. So there's your comedy for the day. Um, I was, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you this. I was going to make, I made a joke that I was going to make an OnlyFans called the Painted Foot because my feet are always painted and, you know, people, some people really like feet. Uh, but then I decided against it. Elliot still probably thinks I should because, you know, I should take advantage of paint everywhere anyways back to the dragonfly i <laughs> hope you enjoy this little rest of this little one Okay, so here is the big one. I'm speeding up to the only um, different thing that I did for this was in the body, I put or and then I added some ballet slipper TLP, which is pink. Um, and then I topped it with the black and the white cell activator. You can't see because my lights are so bright, but that is pink and gold and it looks, I just love it. And the rest of the wings I did exactly the same. So I hope you enjoy this one. And here is the final resined product. I resined the dragonfly separately and um, I took very strong adhesive and I glued them on and this is where they're at. The sparkle love. It's just like one big sparkly 
bang in your face. I hope you guys enjoyed this dragonfly. Please head on over to um, the next video. We have Shelly, we have Mitchell, we have Nikki, and they're going to blow your socks off with their dragonflies, I'm sure. Please like this video if you liked this video and subscribe if you haven't. Would love to see more of you. Uh, love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.